Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today we bring you some exciting updates and new features for Landscall Air. So if you're one of the teachers that uh, is lucky enough to have Landscall Air in their class, uh, you're going to love these features. And if you don't have Landscall Air, please contact any of your tech tosas and we'll try to help you with that, okay? So I'm inside of our Landscall dashboard. I access this via class link. If you have not seen our first video on Landscall Air, uh, it is on our YouTube channel. But depending on you being an elementary, or a middle school and high school teacher, this is going to look different, okay? So if you're an elementary teacher, you're going to have just one class that is automatically has your students in it because it has been rostered through Clever. Or if you're middle school or high school, you're gonna have periods in here, okay? Um, so, but all of the new changes are gonna be the same basically, okay? So from here, you have the ability to see how many students you have, uh, the teachers, and we're gonna talk about a new feature with teachers, co-teachers, and also your settings, okay? We can go through settings in here, which will be easy, but we're actually going to do it from inside so you can see everything that is going to happen, okay? So whether or not you access settings from the other side or from here, you're going to see that some of the new changes are pretty amazing, okay? The first one is the ability for you to automatically dismiss a class, okay? What does that mean? In the past, you will start your class, right? And at the end of your class, the period, you will have to uh, stop the class to finish the class, or at the end of your day for elementary, you will stop the class to finish the class. Now, now you have the ability to actually automatically dismiss classes, okay? And you have two options. You can do it by a default time. So if I came in here and I know that my class always ends at two, 20 right for elementary so let's do that i can set it up to be 220 or 221 right here right and i know that my class is going to be dismissed at 221 every day if i'm a high school or, or middle school teacher maybe i want to dismiss each period after 55 minutes that's how long my periods are so i want to set it up like this okay um you also have the ability to change your banner in here uh, we don't have to worry about that one that is uh, uh something that always has been available in here now we're gonna move on to the next feature that you have if you go to the tab that says instructors okay now you have the ability to actually add co-instructors to your class. Uh, we have heard from you that you might want to add maybe a substitute teacher, maybe an administrator, or maybe a teacher aide to help you monitor land school, or maybe use it when you're not there. Now you have the ability to automatically add a co-instructor. You will just look for them. So let me just add Teresa um, to this one. I'm going to select her and I have the ability to add her manually. Notice that it says manually. This means that it's not going to be removed once the nightly sync with Clever happens, okay? Maybe I added a sub, they had access to it, and then tomorrow I wanna get rid of them. I can just basically click on it and delete them, okay? So great feature to have, okay? Now the next one that we're going to look at has to go, has to be part of web limiting, okay? So as you know, you can um, allow sites only, so you only allow certain sites. You can block some sites, or maybe just YouTube or some games, or you can restrict all websites, okay? On a different video, I'm going to show you how you can use wildcards to allow and limit websites, okay? So if you notice over here, I'm allowing anything that is Google by using wildcards or anything that is um, in structure or canvas or mastery by allowing by using the wildcards, okay? Um, the current state is allowed, but I can turn that off if I want to by just toggling, okay? But that's the way it's set up, okay? If I, maybe I'm blocking, again, I can use the wildcards to block all games or I can set up something like this to block YouTube, okay? So this is something that I will cover in a different video if you have, if you don't know how to use the allow and the block only, okay? But a new feature that we have here is the ability to replace web limiting by class, okay? So now I can set up, uh, maybe I teach chemistry and I only wanna allow some sites, so I can set it up and select the class that it's only gonna have that applied to, okay? Or maybe I teach Spanish and I only wanna block some sites, I have the ability to do it now, okay? So now, web limiting settings are specific to each class. So if you teach elementary, this doesn't really apply to you, but now you can block distracting websites, right? Or limit students to just a few websites by class. Uh, so there is a no limit uh, right now uh, to the number of URLs that you can be added to block or allow list. So you can add as many as you want, okay? So again, you have the ability to do it by class now, okay? Finally, the blank screen, I'm not gonna worry uh, about uh, about that. I covered this on the first video and I think you know how to use it, but you can blank everybody's screen. But now that we're in the class, okay, let's look at what those updates look like, okay? I'm going to start my class. The first thing that I want you to see is that when I start class, 
Notice that I have a class dismiss in 55 minutes. So now I have the ability uh, to dismiss it automatically without me having to go over here and exit the class. It's going to automatically do it. I can also use the pencil and change this. I think it has to be at least five or 10 minutes if I wanted to uh, do it by hand in here. Okay, I could do that if I wanted to, okay? But the 55 minutes works for me, so we're gonna leave it like that, okay? So notice that I can see all of my students in here. Only one student is showing. I'm just using a, a, a sandbox to do this, okay? So notice that uh, uh, we have this particular student that uh, it's offline. Maybe they left their computer on and uh, uh, it's showing offline. I don't wanna see them. I can come in here, click on the three dots and say exclude. And notice that it's going to bring them into the excluded from the current session. I can do the same thing with this one, okay? And it's very easy to bring them back. I can just hit the plus to bring them back or I can include all to bring them back, okay? You also have the ability to add groups okay so if i wanted to add a group now maybe i have that particular group of students maybe two students that are always going to a website opening a program that i don't want them to open so i'm going to call it front of the class okay i'm going to create it now it's there okay and now that that group is created i have the ability to say you know what i want this particular student right here move to the front of the class so now it's going to be right here and i'm always going to know that these are the students that i have to keep an eye for, uh, um, on okay so move them again to front of the class so they're in there okay so they're in front of the class i can create more groups if i wanted to okay um i can also change the way i view this so let's change the grid view right and notice that the excluder is still there i can go back and go to the group view which is what i created a second ago right uh, and I also can do a list view, okay? Which I can see them by student, okay? Let's go ahead and go back to the grid view. A new feature that you have is the ability to, one of my favorite new features is the ability, and I know all of you, you guys have asked for this, and you're going to be so happy when you see it, is the ability to go into a student's device. So maybe this particular student has gotten very wise and says, you know what? He can block me on Google, but he cannot block me when I open Edge, or maybe when I open Safari, right? And all of a sudden, this particular student is trying to go to YouTube, or maybe they're opening Minecraft or something like that, whatever it might be, okay? Notice that now, with this particular student, I actually have the ability to come in here, view student details, okay? And you're gonna see a couple of things, okay? I can see that this particular student has opened Edge, and if I wanna close it, which is what I'm looking at right here, I can come in here, and notice that that is going to go away. So I now have the ability to close apps, okay? This particular student has Spotify. I know at school it doesn't work, but if you notice this particular student, if I open it, it's on Spotify. Right now you'll see it really quick. So by just going over here, I can just click it and completely close that application from them, okay? How did I do that again? I went to the student, went to the three dots over here. I went to view student details and I have the ability to look at the apps that they're on and I can close them. That doesn't mean that they will not be able to open them again. Uh, Land School is working on a way that they cannot open them again. But just so you know that you have the ability to do that, right? From here, you can do a screenshot of a student, right? You can turn a limit web for that particular student. You can turn the blank screen or you can push a website too. So kind of a nice feature to have. And finally, um, I think the last feature that I'm going to talk about is the ability to use the chat, right? If we wanted to chat through the entire classroom, maybe one student right here that I wanted to say, um, uh, uh, stay on task. Now you have the ability to come to again the snowman or three dot and disable the chat if you wanted to, or download the log if you wanted to. So again, these are some of the new features that we have. I'll go through them again. The ability to automatically dismiss class, okay? The ability to add co-instructors in here, okay? The ability to do web limiting by classes now, pretty amazing. The ability to create groups in here, you have the ability to do that. The ability to exclude students. And finally, the ability and my favorite to go into student details and be able to close apps if you need to. Okay, so those are some of the new updates. If you have any questions, please let us know. Have a great day.